Satnam, I'm Yogi Gems, a Kundalini Yoga teacher, and I have one of my very favorite Kriyas to share with you today. It's a Kundalini Yoga Kriya known as the Heart of Gold, and it reminds us of this beautiful, magnificent light that we all carry in our heart. It's the light of our compassion, our love, our forgiveness, and it's within each of us. So no matter how much life has thrown at you, no matter how much trauma, there is still this beautiful light within you. And today we're going to experience that through this kundalini yoga kriya so bring your palms together give them a good rub and bring your premudra into the heart center nice tall spine shoulders relaxed eyes rolled up and in to the third eye point in the center of the forehead take a deep inhale and exhale fully inhale tall through the spine keeping that length as you exhale and we're going to tune in with our mantras. If you're new to the mantras, just listen in for now. Deep inhale. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Adgure name, Jugad Gure name, Sat Gure name, Siri Guru Deve name, Adgure name, Jugad Gure name, Sat Gure name, Siri Guru Deve name, Adgure name, Jugad Gure name, Sat Gure name, Siri Guru Deve name, Deep inhale. Hold that breath in, inviting your heart to guide you through today's practice, to keep you safe from injury, and to keep you present in the here and now. As you exhale, bring the left palm to the center of the chest, place the right hand over the left, and we're going to hold our awareness in the center of the chest with a breath of fire. If you know breath of fire, begin now. If you're new to breath of fire, it's a panting breath, but through the nose. So if you imagine panting like a dog, noticing the movement of the belly, and we close the mouth, we do that panting breath through the nose. Good, and as you do this very lovely clearing, activating breath of fire, you hold your awareness in that space behind the palms. So right there in the center of the chest, we stay anchored into Anahata Chakra with this breath of fire. And this breath of fire anchors us in the heart center. It clears and activates our heart chakra. It activates Anahata chakra and all the qualities that come with our heart center, that compassion, that love, that connection to each other and to ourselves. <laughs> Take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in. Now we're going to squeeze Mulbandh. That means you're squeezing the anus and the sex organs. You're pulling the navel into the spine and you're feeling, sensing, imagining the energy moving from tailbone all the way up the spine to the crown of the head. Hold it, squeeze it, lengthen tall, and exhale, relax and release, hands down to knees. Just staying present with the eyes closed. Feeling that slow awakening of energy in the body. 
perhaps feeling a little more expansive, perhaps noticing a higher frequency as we move into the frequency of the heart center. Deep inhale. And exhaling fully. Good. Now we're going to interlace the fingers in Venus Mudra, but we're bringing our Venus Mudra behind us. We're lifting the arms as high as they can go and we're dropping the forehead down to the floor. We're holding that posture. And we're holding this with a long, slow, deep breath. Now, if your hands don't come all the way up, that's fine. Just as high as you can get them, even if it's a centimeter off the sacrum, a centimeter off the lower back. Keep lifting. This helps to open the shoulders, open the heart, and bring increased circulation to that area of the body, the shoulder girdle and the heart center. Long, slow, deep breath. As you bow the forehead down to the floor, hold this posture there. Hold your bow, lifting the arms as high as they can go. That's it. Even if it feels tight in the shoulders, just see what you can do. Keep lifting, keep directing that energy up to open the heart, to open the shoulders, to release this whole area of the body, any tightness, any tension, any knots. Good, hold it down there, 20 more seconds. Taking a deep inhale now and holding that breath in as you squeeze Mulban. So you're squeezing the pelvic floor, pulling the navel in and feeling, sensing, imagining that energy rising up the spine. Lift the arms as high as you can. Hold it, squeeze it. And exhale, relax the arms down and gently find your way all the way back up to sitting, releasing the hands and bringing them to Gyan Mudra on the knees, index fingers touching thumbs. Feel that openness in the shoulders, in the chest. Renewed prana coming into our heart center, healing the Anahata Chakra, opening Anahata Chakra. Take a deep inhale and exhale fully. Good, now we're going to bring our right hand under the left arm and grab onto the shoulder and we bring our left arm over the top of that. So you're holding onto opposite shoulders with opposite arms, creating a heart shape with your arms. You're tucking your chin in and you're leaning forward as far forward as you can go. The spine is long and we're holding this posture with a long, slow, deep breath keeping the awareness at the heart center. And we're giving ourselves an almighty nourishing hug here. We're really showing our love and our appreciation for this human body, this physical form that carries us through these crazy adventures of life. Breathing deep as we connect into those qualities of love and compassion for ourselves, for our physical bodies. Forgiveness for ourselves for perhaps not always treating our beautiful physical body the way it should be treated, perhaps not loving our beautiful physical body as much as we should be loving it. Long, slow, deep breath as you draw that healing energy into the body. Feeling immense gratitude, immense love for this human form this vehicle that we find ourselves in. Keep leaning forward as far as is comfortable. Keep the eyes closed. The awareness is in the heart center. Nourishing ourselves with those frequencies of love and compassion. Those very high vibration qualities of the heart. Take a deep inhale. 
Hold that breath in, squeeze more bands, squeezing the pelvic floor, pulling the navel in, lengthening the spine so you're raising the energy up. And exhaling, relaxing and releasing just for a few moments with the hands in Gyan Mudra on the knees. Settling and feeling your way through this Kundalini Yoga Kriya, the alchemy that it brings. Deep inhale, exhale fully. We're gonna stretch our arms straight forward now, parallel to the floor. The fingers are wide. You're wanting to bring energy in from the universe through the fingers like antennae, all the way down the arms to the shoulders and into the heart center. With every inhale, we draw more of that lovely life affirming prana. We draw it through the arms, through the fingers, through the arms, through the shoulders, into the heart center. The eyes are closed. The awareness sits right in the center of the chest. Receive this energy. Receive this support from the universe to shine in your inner radiance. Breath is long and slow and deep. Keeping the shoulders relaxed. Keeping the arms straight and parallel. With every inhale, drawing that energy into the heart center from the universe, all the support you need to shine. Now taking a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you squeeze Mulband, lift tall through the spine, stretch forward with the fingertips, feel that energy coursing through the arms, through the heart center, activating, nourishing, and allowing you to shine in your brilliance. Exhale, relax and release the hands down to the knees. Keep the eyes closed, the awareness inside. And just feeling the slow alchemy of this kundalini yoga kriya as we transform the lower frequencies into the frequencies of the heart the heart of gold take a deep inhale exhale fully bringing palms together now and we're just going to start to circle the palms and start to build up this energy so the eyes are closed now you're staying with the heart center with your awareness and as you uh, circle the palms over one another as you rub the palms together in circular motions you're generating the heart energy at the hands so essentially you're building the hands capacity for healing the healing power of the hands and the way that healing power comes through is through your heart of gold it's a long slow deep breath here with the awareness at the center of the chest. And you're building that energy between the palms. Feel that heat building. That's it. Stay with it. Breathing long, slow and deep. Awareness locked into the beautiful heart center with all of its well of love and generosity and kindness. Building this energy into the hands. Now take a deep inhale as you bring the hands into prayer mudra at the heart center. 
Hold that breath in, squeeze Mulbund, lift the energy up and feel that heat between the palms. Push the palms slightly together to really activate that heat. Hold it, squeeze Mulbund. And as you exhale, we're going to slowly separate the palms. We're going to hold the right hand so it's just in front of the right armpit. And the left hand, we're moving just slightly out beyond our shoulder. So the right hand sits kind of in line with the, um, the armpit and the left hand sits just outside the left shoulder. And you're holding this space between the hands for the heart center energy to build. So bringing the awareness into that space. And again, it's a long, slow, deep breath as you keep your awareness on that space, on that energy between the hands. Feel the energy building between the palms. This healing energy, the healing hands. very steady with your awareness on that space between the palms allowing that energy to build and strengthen so it almost becomes like a solid thing a solid beam of love between your hands between your palms feel the heat Take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you bring your palms together at the heart center once more, uh, squeezing Mulband, lifting tall through the spine, nice pressure between the palms. Feel that heat, feel that energy, healing energy from the heart. This stuff is gold. This is incredibly powerful energy. Hold it and squeeze it and consolidate it in the body. And exhale, relax, release. We're going to move straight into the next exercise. So you're bringing the fingertips onto the tops of the palms. The thumbs are pointing straight up and we're extending up. We're plugging the thumbs up into the higher self. And it's a long, slow, deep breath here. So just imagine that your arms are forming a funnel. And at the base of this funnel is the heart center. And again, we're bringing energy in from the universe to nourish the heart center, to nourish us to really step into our true radiance, that golden quality that we all hold at the heart center, that compassion, that kindness, that connection with others that the world so needs right now. Breathe long and slow and deep.
Good, keep the arms straight, keep the shoulders relaxed. Good, now we're gonna keep the arms extended, keep the thumbs plugging up. This time we do a breath of fire. <laughs> Good, keep awareness at the center of the chest, keep bringing that energy down into the heart, nourishing your heart from the universe. <laughs> bringing to you all the blessings, all of the opportunities, all of the love that you need in order to fulfill your soul's destiny, to fulfill your heart's desires in this lifetime. <laughs> Take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in, squeeze more buns, stretch up tall through the spine, hold it, squeeze it, stretch up. Now bring fingertips together, uh, thumb tips together above the head, keep the arms straight and keeping the thumb tips touching, stretch your fingers out wide, hold it, squeeze it, lift up and exhale. We'll comb the hands down through the auric field, bring the fingertips down to the earth and just ground this energy. Stay present with the heart center. Feeling this expansion through your being. This radiance, high frequency radiance at the heart center. Deep inhale. Exhale fully. Good, now bring your palms together. And again, we're going to give them a good rub just to start to bring that heart energy in again. This is really building up our capacity for healing hands. So whatever you're going to do today, whether you're going to bring these healing hands to a loved one, place them on uh, an area that needs healing in your own body, start making your plans now. Breathing long, slow and deep as you just rub your palms together. Build that heat, that warmth from the heart center. Awareness stays in the center of the chest. So our arms and our hands are expressions of our heart. They're extensions of the heart. And this Kriya, this Kundalini Yoga Kriya, Heart of Gold Kriya, it brings that energy of the heart exactly where it needs to be, down the arms and into the hands. So everything that we do with our arms, with our hands, is done with so much love, so much compassion and kindness. Stay with it, breathing deep. Take a deep inhale, bring the hands into prayer mudra once more. <sighs> Holding that breath in as you squeeze Mulband. Stretch tall through the spine, raise that energy up, nice firm pressure between the palms. Feel that heat, that energy between the hands. Absorb it. Exhale, now we're going to shift the hands. So the right hand is on the top, the left hand is on the bottom. And we're going to slightly cup the hands and imagine that we're holding a ball of light right in the center of our hands. So we're cupping the hands around this ball of light. The spine is long, the chin tucks in, and the awareness is in that ball of light. This is the energy of the heart. And now with every inhale, just imagining that ball of light growing stronger and brighter. 
Imagine with every breath, that ball of light becoming more vibrant, more radiant, more iridescent. With every breath, that ball of light growing brighter and stronger, so it engulfs your hands. It's not just a little ball of light between the hands, it engulfs your hands with this light. And with every breath, that light grows. And you're breathing more strength, more radiance, more iridescence into this ball of light until it fills the space around your whole body and you find that you are sitting within this ball of light. It's so bright, it's so strong, it's so radiant. And it surrounds the entire body as if you're sitting inside this ball of light. And it continues to grow in strength and brilliance as you breathe. And it starts to fill the room that you're in with that brilliance, with that radiance. It starts to extend even further beyond the room, it starts filling the house that you're in or the building that you're in. With every breath, it grows brighter and stronger until it covers the whole of your area. It covers the whole of your country. brilliance and strength and radiance in this immense light as it encompasses the whole of the earth now in this beautiful extraordinary light with every breath that light grows stronger more vibrant more vital covering the whole of the earth and the atmosphere now and extending even further out into the Milky Way, all the galaxies are held within this beautiful ball of radiant light. Breathing strength into this light, light breathing vitality and radiance with every breath, it was growing brighter and stronger until it stretches all the way to infinity, that immense radiant light of your being every breath growing stronger and brighter and more effulgent encompassing all the creatures on this earth all the creatures in this universe with this brilliant radiance this energy of compassion and of love of radiance of connection and generosity and kindness. And taking a deep inhale, holding that breath in as you squeeze more band, you hold that light at the most immense place that you can, the most brilliant place that you can, the most intense radiance that you can and exhale, relax the hands down to the knees. Feel expansive through the body. Feel the extraordinary light of your being. Now to help that light integrate, we're going to take a short Shavasana. So come down to lying flat on the back, starfish yourself out, be as expansive as that light. Just allowing the body to be heavy on the earth, relaxing and releasing the whole of the body, the toes, the feet, the heels, the ankles, relaxing and releasing calves and shins, knees and thighs relaxing and releasing buttocks and groin, pelvis and pelvic floor, relaxing and releasing the abdomen, the solar plexus and the diaphragm, relaxing and releasing the chest, ribs, heart, lungs, relaxing and releasing collarbones and shoulders, upper back, middle back, lower back, relax and release into the earth, 
relaxing and releasing upper arms and elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, fingers and thumbs, relaxing and releasing neck and throat, jaw, teeth and tongue, lips and cheeks and ears and eyes, relaxing and releasing forehead and scalp, skull and brain, relaxing and releasing the whole of the central nervous system, the whole of the body. And we'll just allow ourselves to completely surrender into our Shavasana. I'll be here holding the space in silence for you and I'll be here to guide you out on the other side. So just for now, completely relax, completely let go and allow your body to fully absorb the extraordinary light that you've built up within and around you. And gently starting to wriggle the fingers, wriggle the toes, circle the wrists and the ankles first in one direction and then in the other direction. And take a deep inhale to stretch the arms up above the head, point and flex the feet, stretch. Exhale down, bring right knee into the chest, exhale across the body, turn the head to the opposite side and breathe into that cat stretch. Inhale to center. Exhale down, inhale opposite knee into the chest, exhale across the body, turning the head, breathe into that twist. Inhale to center, exhale down. Inhale both knees into the chest, now wrap the arms around the knees, give yourself a big hug and a rock from side to side. And then bring palms of hands together, soles of feet together, give them a good rub, bring yourself back into your body and tuck the hands into the creases behind the knees, rock forwards and back up and down along the spine, come all the way up to sitting tall, hands in Gyan Mudra on the knees, just staying present for a moment with the afterglow of that Kundalini Yoga Kriya, the heart of gold, feel that light inside you that raised frequency of love and connection. Palms together. We'll close our practice with Sat Nam. Truth is my name, deep inhale. Exhale fully. And let's inhale to chant. Sat Nam. Bring the palms to the floor, allow the forehead to follow as far as it will go, offering your gratitude to your body and mind and breath and heart for bringing you to this Kundalini Yoga today. Sending that gratitude out into your life as far as it will go. And when you feel ready, coming back into the room, Satnam. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Yogi Gems. If you enjoyed this Kriya, please click like. Let me know how you got on in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more because there's plenty more of these Kundalini Yoga alchemical practices that we can share. Satnam, lots of love.